All right, welcome to Uzulu Garage channel to today. Today we're gonna be detailing this Ford Focus right here, black. And today we're gonna be using Turtle Wax Hybrid Solution, their new product they sent us. Let's open it up and I'll show you guys real quick. We're gonna wash it with this soap also. It's backwards, guys, sorry about that. Check that out. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, and then we're gonna be using their pads right there. All right. So if you guys actually want to see us unboxing this, we actually have a video for that. So check it out in the end link. That yeah. was this video. Yeah, it was nice that Turtle Wax sent us that. So we're going to be doing this video. And what we're going to be doing, you can see all the paint chips here. We're not going to get all that out. We're just going to make this car look good as we can with uh, these products. This is a friend of mine's daughter's vehicle. And we're doing a free detail because uh, Turtle Wax sent us us for free. So we're going to give a detail. Hook someone up. And then this is a sponsored video by Turtle Wax. And then what I'm going to do is something different. I'm going to wash the car. I'm going to clay bar it. I'm going to do an iron X on it. And then, But I'm going to have those processes, what we did, and some of the products we used at the end of the video instead of doing the beginning of the video. And if you guys want to see the process of us getting the paint clean so we can do these products right here. And then we're going to wash it with their car wash soap right here. Trying to keep it Turtle Wax. I mean, Turtle Wax don't have an iron remover or a clay bar, so we're going to have to use different products for that. I'll have that at the end. And then, but you can uh, look at it and see how bad it is. Go ahead and walk around it. Goes through. Alright, we'll check it out. I mean, there's a lot of chips in here. We're not going to get that. We'll just make it look good and shiny. Already cleaned the wheels. If you want to check out that video right here, yeah, we're going to make it look good got some spots it looks like this vehicle has been washed in a long time check it out hope you're not getting too much of a glare right here we're gonna wash it good and we'll do it in the garage we'll hook it up we'll get, it, get it nice and clean check it out now we're not going for every you know making it perfect every scratch we're just our main goal is to make it look great again you know good get it nice and clean get some protection on here It'd be easy for them. All right, two plus two in this video. There's going to be something we're going to be talking about. I think you guys are going to like it. It's going to be maybe in the middle towards the end. I figure throw that in there because if you don't watch it to the middle to the end, you're going to miss out on something that you're going to might regret. So uh, make sure you watch the whole video. A lot of guys don't watch the whole video, and there might be some good information there. And this one you're not going to want to miss. Out. There's nothing, no protection, no wax on this one. All right, we'll make it look good. I'm all supposed to rain, so I'm gonna have to keep this in the garage overnight. That about this. All right, I'm gonna get washing. Look at that. That's why you clay bar, guys. Get that paint clean. It's looking better. All right, we got the car all ready to go for the ceramic arctic black polish right here formulated for black paint as you can see how bad the paint is all right basically the directions wash the wash and dry your car shake well and then for machine application you're going to use four dime size drops and you go crisscross medium pressure on your machine we're going to be using the g9 from gyro's garage right there i probably said that wrong and then what you're going to do then then wipe off with a clean microfiber towel and then plus two when you're done with the whole vehicle you're going to use a damp microfiber towel and then wipe your whole vehicle down and when it does it activates the shine polymers and then rewipe with a, a dry one and then or you can for high spots you can even use a damp um, microfiber towel to get it off you can see how trash this paint is And then plus two, you can do this by hand. And what we plan on doing when the uh, junkyard's reopen again with this uh, virus stuff, we're going to try this at the junkyard by hand. All right, check that out, guys. It's pretty bad. It's almost like seeing a little swirls. And basically, this new product from Turtle Wax for black paint basically removes swirls, some scratches. Plus, it has some precision polishing platelets in it. It's superior black car gloss. It gives you depth and color. Mirror finish. It's got uh, durable protection. And it has SIO2s in it. Right here. And, and plus, too, when you're done using this, you're not going to want to 
apply any other product for 24 hours. Don't rewash the car. And what we're going to do, this car is going to stay here and there overnight. And tomorrow we're going to be applying the spray. Right here, the, the black wax. We'll be doing that tomorrow after the polish. All right, let's let's do this section right here, and we'll show you the results. We'll see how good this stuff is. Do the best we can. Get four dots. All right, we're gonna spread it out. Small section number one. <laughs> Plus two, this is a uh, oil oil base, and it's supposed to give you some longer work time. We're gonna go about go about five speed, and we'll just do this little section right here for now. got their own pads that comes with this kit. Oh yeah, look at that. It comes off. A little bit of work to cake it off, but no big deal. Came out nice. You can always use a little damp cloth to take it off a little bit better. Oh wow. That was pretty good. here a little bit more all right let me finish this side of the hood and then we'll take the tape off check out the difference on that look at that that came out nice guys look at that look at the difference you guys can see that came out nice grant it's not going to get everything this has a lot of chips in it this car is from arizona we're in michigan look at the difference Show the guys the difference real close. And then go. That's pretty good. Now how did it come off? You took it off. So taking it off, it's a lot easier if you go in a circular motion over a you know back and forth motion. I I kind of found that one out while taking it off, but overall it is really not a hard product to remove. All right, we're going to continue to go. Don't forget to watch and uh, continue watching the video. We're going to do the whole car. We'll show the results of it before we put the spray on tomorrow. And then make sure you watch it because we'll be announcing something you guys are going to not want to miss. Wow, look at that difference. I mean, that's going to look good. I think what it does is a tape line. But, yeah, that looks nice. What a difference. I mean, look how neglected that paint is. And this product, man, you're gonna get professional results from this product that you can buy at a local store. Crazy. That's cool. All right, guys, we're all done polishing up with the Turtle Wax Ceramic Blacks Polish. Check it out, it looks good. All right, real quick, here's everything we get in this kit. In this kit right here, you get the, the polish, and then you get the Black Wax Ceramic Arctic. And then you get a five inch pad right here. These are from made by Lake Country and they got turtle wax on here. You get a six inch pad, and you get a micro. We already used, used everything, so it's kind of dirty, except for this one. And uh, you get a turtle wax pad right here. Now, turtle wax is kind enough for us to have a giveaway, and you get all this right here. This is what you're gonna get. What I would like you to do to enter it, be you gotta be a subscriber, all right? And then comment below what's your favorite turtle wax product and that you would want to be entered into the giveaway right here you can win this is great for turtle wax to uh, offer us let us have a giveaway for you guys and then on april 30th 
will pick the winner and we'll post it in, in this video in the comments. It's the first time giving a giveaway, guys, so we're, we're working on um, how to use a YouTube channel. Not a YouTube channel, but a YouTube program to pick the winner and to make sure you guys are subscribers. So you gotta be a subscriber. All right, that's it, April 30, don't forget. Now, since we're done polishing it, we're supposed to go through with a damp microfiber towel, damp, and then you wipe it in, and then you're gonna dry it, and it's supposed to activate that polymer shine. Okay, we'll just go damp. It's a little bit more than damp, but we're just gonna work it in. Now, tomorrow, keep watching, because tomorrow we're gonna be using the, the spray, black spray, and, because you gotta wait 24 hours. Let this cure, and then we'll be applying that. You're better off using a drying towel. All right, we gotta do the whole vehicle, and then we'll look at the whole vehicle, damp, and then dry it. We'll check it out. It's dark now outside, so we'll do our best under our lights, and then tomorrow we'll really see it during the day. All right, rod done. Wiping it up with the cloth, damp cloth, well, microfiber towel. And a dry one, check it out. Came out nice. Look at that. Hopefully, you guys can see me. I still gotta add some lights in my garage. Let's get the top. Now it's not perfect to paint. The paint's pretty rough. Um, this product's great for getting a nice gloss to your car. And this isn't gonna get every scratch out. It did a really good job getting swirls out. It really did. Um, light scratches it really did a great job and it did a great job giving a nice shine check that out gonna get a glare from the, my lights but that looks great it's amazing how great it looks it came out nice it came out really good like I said it did really get the paint in I mean this paint's hit you got chips you would have to two step you'll have to spend some hours on here but this is a great product for anyone at home wants to get some great results uh, I mean yeah it's unbelievable how well it did on uh, swirl marks did a really good job on swirl marks and plus too if you guys want to you can play with this product use a microfiber uh, pad and stuff like that and get a better cut I believe you get a, bit, a little bit better cut with that but it did a great job man it looks great yeah they're gonna be happy with that all right Continue watching. We're gonna let it sit in the garage for 24 hours. We're gonna move some cars around, put this on the other side, put the vet back in, and then tomorrow we'll look at it and we'll use the spray and talk about the products. All right, guys. And don't forget to uh, comment for that uh, giveaway. That's pretty cool. Oh, turtle wax. Plus, got little odds and ends. Still gotta do the interior a little bit, stuff like that. Okay, it's the next day that some ceramic acrylic black polish has been on the focus. Check it out. Man, it looks good. All right, now we're going to get ready to put on the, the ceramic acrylic black wax on here. Check that out. It looks pretty good. Basically, shake it up real, real good. And then basically, it's a superior black car gloss, depth and color. And it uh, has some um, conceals of some ineffections. We'll see if that works. And then it's got some durability SiO2. And it's supposed to get up with these products about up to six months. And it repels water. Basically shake it up on the directions. Shake it up. Okay. Can be used on your wheels, exterior trim, and plastic. Do not use on convertible tops, guys. All right, let it cure for 24 hours before you wash it or apply a different another coat so I would go two coats maybe by the way the week you can put another coat on there and that would work and plus two you can use all their ceramic hybrid solution lime we'll go over that at the end of the video all right let's shake this up real good and let's just get to going and plus two they say not you don't have to use a lot a couple of squirts on there and it should be good just mess with it Okay, we're gonna just do some squirts, small squirts on here. Just a little bit and just even spread it out best you can. Plus two, it says let it haze up and it's gonna give you a little bit more clean power and a little bit more filling 
for any uh, little minor perfections. That's what it's saying. So we're going to let this haze up. It spreads pretty good. Or you could go circle motions too. Whatever you prefer. Yeah, that's about it right there. We'll let it haze up and then we'll take it off. Alright, we'll take it off. That comes off pretty good. When you're letting it haze up a little bit. Got some splatter marks right there. No big deal. Check that out. Looks good, guys. We're going to do the whole car and not film it. And we'll let it sit for about an hour. Then we'll come back and see what it looks like. Look at that. Looks pretty good. We'll go over the products. All right, guys. You know what? As we're cleaning the interior, it's not raining in Michigan. You can't get, you'd be lucky to get two days in a row with no rain. Um, it, our weather basically rains all the time. So the best bet, you know, we put the spray on there. It's been 24 hours for the polish, but not the spray. Just a couple hours. So, uh, so when this stuff like this happens to me, when the vehicle's got to stay outside, next time I wash the vehicle, I would add another protectant of the, that black spray. That's what I would do. Or even a ceramic spray. On any product I kind of use, because Michigan's bad. Unless you can keep your uh, vehicle in the garage all the time. In which, here we have our other vehicles always in the garage. But... That's right, what I recommend. All right, so uh, you might as well look at the water beads since it's wet, but we fear you might as well show you. Try to be honest with you guys, you know. Check it out. Might as well do a little water test right here. We got it on mist. Look at that sheeting pretty good in the beads. Nice. All right, let's go uh, shower. Check it out. Look at that. It's going right off that hood. Check that out. Alright, we'll do another one. Look at that, sheets right off. That looks good. Alright, let me take this uh, nozzle off and we'll just use the water out of the hose. It's be an easier way to dry it too. Check that out. Oh yeah, look at that guys. It's way to go. Your best bet when you use these products is to do this and then dry it. You're not going to go through so many towels. About the window, we did the windows too with the polish, but not the spray. Check it out. See how it runs off, pretty good. All right, guys, look at that. All right, we're gonna dry it off, and then we'll tell you our th final thoughts on the product. Man, look at that. We're done drying it. Wow, amazing. Look at the shine on it from before. Just 100%. The plaques is still wet. We're going to put some dressing on there before they pick it up and do the tires. Look at that. That is sick. Man, look at that, guys. You're good. You get professional results without the professional price. You can't beat that. Look at that. Professional results without that price. What do you think? Heck yeah. I mean, that's beautiful. Alright guys, we're all done checking it out. Looks good. Hopefully you guys checked it out. You made it to the end. And now real quick too to maintain this, you can, you know, put of course put another coat on in about a week or so. I would go to recommend two coats. I would. And then they say up to six months. But think about you use this every two to three months. You're you're good. Nice uh, you'll get protection. And then when you want to wash it, I would use your hybrid solution, ceramic wash and wax when you wash it and pick these up local store or in the link below in the Amazon in our link. And that does help the channel out a little bit when you do use it. We appreciate it if you do. And then also, too, you can pick up the ceramic wet wax and use this also to in between washes. You wash it with that, and then you can spray this on there once a month also. It's up to you. And then you, you know, polish it up. We're going to test this at a junkyard soon when they reopen. Right now, we can't go anywhere with all the everything shut down with this, you know, with the stay at home order, stuff like that. So, but yeah, that's it's amazing, man, it, uh, the, how great these products are. And don't forget to enter the giveaway. Make a comment below what your favorite turtle wax product or what would you like to see, uh, to see turtle wax make next. Let us know below and make sure you let us know you want to be in the, um, in the giveaway. And plus, you got to be a subscriber. Come on now. 
All right, we got to thank Turtle Wax for sending these these products. Awesome. So this is sponsored really from them. These two right here I purchased, but that did send me the kit with these in there. We're going to do another vehicle, a detailed vehicle, pretty soon with those products. We're going to do a free uh, detailing on that with, uh, with a vehicle basically with paint like this and maybe a little bit more trash. And we just want to make it look good because he just bought a car to just drive back and forth to work. A buddy of ours. So, yeah. It's nice to use these products, and we uh, it was pretty cool to use them on this car, and then we were able to find one for a black one and give someone a, a free detail. A buddy of mine's daughter, so they're gonna be picking it up soon. All right, man, we gotta hurry up and do some trim on here, dry a little bit, and get it done. And uh, don't forget to hit the watch the video with the end links that we'll leave behind. Hopefully, I see you at that video. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate all my new subscribers, old subscribers. I love it when you guys comment. I look forward to seeing them. You guys have a great one. Later. Okay, we're going to be using Adam Polish and Iron Remover right here. We're going to spray it on and uh, rinse it off. Let it sit a couple minutes. Now, it's not hot. It even says, you know, go in a shaded area. You can use some single stage paint, too, if that helps out. And then we're going to shake it up. Works pretty good. Now, it's supposed to turn purple. It might not turn purple on this. Black. All right. Up. Okay, now I'm gonna clay bar it after we rinse it off with the iron remover. Right here, this is a homemade clay loop with uh, Wolfgang. I have, I do have a video on how to make one, and it saves you some money making your own detail spray with the Wolfgang rinseless wash. And you just dilute it, so you can, I don't know, search for the video. All right, now we're gonna clay bar this car, get it ready for the turtle wax polish. I don't probably never been done. You want to you know use a lot of uh detail spray at homemade, that's why it's great to save it. That's yeah, not too bad. Actually, I mean when we did the iron remover, I didn't it didn't even turn purple. It wasn't bad at all, and the paint still feels pretty smooth. So alright, figured I'd just show you this process so you guys know that we prepped this paint real good for that turtle wax. You do you flip it over and you keep going and dry it off and almost there we'll have this thing in the garage shoot soon look at that that's why you clay bar guys get that paint clean it's looking better already okay I have it in the garage too well I'm thinking too I already did it I like to use a wax grease remover before I do any polishing you just let it flash for about 10 minutes Wipe it in there, wipe it off with the same towel, let it flash for a little bit before you proceed. Another thing too, with your microfiber towel, when you're done with it, basically set it outside, do not put it in the trash, all right? Let it outside, let it dry, and then throw it away the next day. It's looking better.